May 5, 1980, Iranian Embassy, London, England. Television broadcasts live. The deployment of British special forces to rescue 26 hostages taken by six Arab terrorists. The outcome of the mission depends on the efficiency of the military group, where some of its members carry Heckler and Koch MP5 submachine guns. Around 11.30 a.m. on April 30th, 1980, six armed men, self-proclaimed martyrs, opponents of the Islamic regime established by Ayatollah Khomeini, burst through the main door of the Iranian embassy at 16 Prince's Gate. Inside the building are 19 Iranians and seven non-Iranian men, including police officer Trevor Locke from the Embassy Surveillance Service. Immediately, the kidnappers demand the release of 91 Arab prisoners jailed in the Khuzestan region, south of Iran, and they're transferred to London by plane. The terrorists threaten to kill all the hostages one by one if their demands are not met immediately. After the execution of the embassy press attaché, Abbas Lavasani, Operation Nimrod, begins. It's 7.23 p.m. when members of the special forces storm the embassy from three different positions. From the balconies, a group of SAS soldiers burst through the embassy's security window, previously blown open with an explosive charge. From the backyard, another group of three men repels down, and the third group penetrates through the adjacent building, breaking through the thin layer of plaster. Some members carry the Heckler and Koch MP5 submachine gun. The MP5 is a compact and precise weapon for use in urban environments and special operations. It uses the roller delayed blowback system, a distinctive feature of HN K firearms that fires 9 by 19 mm parabellum cartridges, commonly used in pistols and submachine guns. It offers selective fire modes, including burst and automatic, along with semi-automatic mode. Its reliability, accuracy, and comfortable handling keep it relevant, even decades after its introduction. The operation is executed in 17 minutes. Six terrorists are shot down five of them by accurate shots from the SAS, while the surviving terrorist is sentenced to life imprisonment. Unfortunately, a hostage dies from gunshot wounds inflicted by a kidnapper. The British Special Forces respond according to their training, with weapons like the Heckler and Koch MP5, managing to prevent a tragic outcome, and quickly leave the scene, attentive to a new mission.